who's representing D.C. Believe it or not, it's RG3. Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley. Today we're going to be looking at what happened to Robert Griffin III. Bet you haven't heard his name in a while, and I'm going to tell you why. Let's take it back to when Griffin was at Baylor University from 2008 to 2011. In 2008, when he was a freshman, he threw for 2,000 yards, 15 touchdowns, and only threw three interceptions, and rushed for 13 more touchdowns. In 2009, as a sophomore, he played in three games before having an ACL tear. He sat out for the remainder of the season and was granted a medical redshirt. In 2010, as a sophomore, he threw for 3,500 yards, 22 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and ran for 8 touchdowns, and led Baylor to a bowl game. In 2011, in his junior year, he threw for 4,293 yards, 37 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and added 10 more on the ground. He led Baylor to the Alamo Bowl and won AP Player of the Year Award, Big 12 Offense Player of the Year Award, he was a consensus All-American, a Davey O'Brien Award winner, a Manning Award winner, and a Heisman Trophy winner. 11 winner of the Heisman Trophy is Robert Griffin III, RG3! Woo! He entered the NFL Draft and was selected number two by the Washington Redskins, who moved up in the draft to get him. As a rookie with the Redskins, he started 15 games, threw for 3,200 yards, 20 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, and ran for 815 yards and 7 touchdowns. He was voted to the Pro Bowl and named Offensive Rookie of the Year. In 2013, he failed to replicate his rookie success, starting 13 games and throwing for 3,200 yards, 16 touchdowns, but 12 interceptions. Head coach Mike Shanahan announced that Griffin would not play for the last three games of the season and that Kirk Cousins would be the starter for the Redskins the rest of the year. In 2014, he started his first two games before being carted off the field against the Jaguars for suffering a dislocated left ankle. He returned against the Minnesota Vikings in Week 9, but then lost his next three games and was benched for Colt McCoy. McCoy was then injured with a neck injury and Griffin finished the season. He was 2-5 and five as a starter in 2014. During preseason in 2015, he suffered a concussion and was questionable for the next game against the Ravens. Griffin was medically cleared by the game by the physician, but a few days later the same physician declared Griffin not ready for the game and gave Kirk Cousins the start. After Kirk Cousins won against the Ravens, he was named the starter for the regular season and forward. He was a third string quarterback that year and was practicing safety with the scout team. He didn't play a game that season. On March 7, 2016, Robert Griffin was released by the Washington Redskins. A few weeks later, the former Heisman Trophy winner signed a two year $15 million contract with the lowly Cleveland Browns. Coach Hugh Jackson named Griffin the starting quarterback for the season. On the opening game, Griffin suffered a shoulder injury and was placed on the injured reserve. He was activated off the injured reserve on December 9, 2016, prior to week 14 against the Bengals. Griffin played in five games, all starts, in 2016. He threw for 886 yards and two touchdowns with three interceptions. He rushed for 190 and a touchdown. On March 10, 2017, almost a year after the Browns signed him, he was released and Robert Griffin III has not played in the NFL since. I hope you enjoyed the story of Robert Griffin III, the Heisman winner being released by the worst team in football.